pink. That's the theme of today. What color is your happiness? One of mine is pink. It started very early a summer reading a book called The Pink Motel. Welcome to my story. My name is Pamela Stearns Frushauer and my business is Mitchell Interiors. I've always lobbied for pink rather than red. It's a softer form of a red. At Christmas I do a pink. A pink gingerbread house that's on the table. This is probably my third rendition of it. It keeps the stress level down and at bay. These are Victoria secret boxes left from gifts from my husband. They're black and white and pink. And my two daughters are also designers. And as they'd walk by, they'd add and subtract. These started out with candies, good and plenty, all kinds of different pink candies, walkways, feather trees, aluminum trees, mirrored sidewalks. It's fun to build this. I know other people build different types of houses. This was really fun for me. So I keep adding a different kind of house during the holiday season. The windows are really not normal, but that's okay. They're all fun. They're different shapes, sizes. I'm a true recycler a queen of recycling, no, 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 maybe a princess. I like the second seat. My mom and dad always wore pink. My dad in the clothing business with bathing suits and my mother, my mother went to college for fashion design. They both wore the color pink very well. This was the color for summer for them. Both of them wore Pendleton reds, red plaids at the holiday Christmas time. I bet all of you have pink, a pink story to tell me. My husband just started wearing pink Oxford button-down shirts. He looks great in it. He has, a dark, he has dark hair and gorgeous eyes. My black standard poodle, who's the size of a lamb, she stands right next to me, and I'll put different scarves and wool coats on, and she looks great in pink, the black against the pink. What's new? Everybody wants to know what's new. People are doing, some people are doing in their kitchens, subway tiles, bathrooms, subway tiles. And when I first saw those come out in the market, I looked at them and I said, P subway tiles, those are down under the ground. Not always clean as a whistle. I think these tiles in the front are what I would be picking. But I don't pick, clients pick. I present and they choose. This is all about my clients, not about me. Clients will buy little tiny stones. I have mirrored stones. They're natural. The gray is great for spaces with dark grout. So you don't have to redo it. I'm very big into keeping your house, if you do it traditional, in the sense of one time, you don't have to keep switching. You switch your colors. Those are in the front. They're triangular. And then the other ones are very small. They can fit in tight spaces for kitchens, bathrooms. You can frame them. There are a lot of things you can do with these tiles. Clients will ask me. I've had every client in the book. I've had people who want to do small projects, big projects. But I came to talk about pink. Pink, it represents caring, compassion, love, unconditional love, and understanding associated with giving, receiving, and receiving care. The color psychology is a sign of hope. It inspires warm and comfortable feelings. It is the combination of red and white, obviously, Red lust for action, passion, and power. White, the opportunity to achieve success and insight. And it's softened with purity. A openness, deeper the pink, the more the passion and energy. This you can pull right from the websites 
um, energy that radiates all of this is on the internet. I'm reminding you because pink can relieve anger, aggression, neglect. It has high amounts of calming effect on the nerves. Sally, a client, asked, shall I use it in the kitchen? Why not? If it works, um, you can use color wherever you want. But I try to help people. That's the goal. That's why I came here to talk. I've been in this industry a long time, 30 some odd years, and the kitchens have different things um, they change over. Women will buy a kitchen, a husband will buy a kitchen because that's where they live, cook, have fun. Off the color pink just for a minute, the average person doesn't know between a decorator and interior designer with a degree, people attach their, their name as an interior designer. So ask them where they went to school, what their degree is. It's important if you have a doctor, you want to know where that person's affiliation comes from, how you spend your money. Everybody has a different uh, client. Some people spend a lot of money with me, um, and I ask about their degrees because I want to know about them too. I'm going to stop just for a second. I brought all these umbrellas and balloons. Um, I do a lot of collage work because I can show somebody their colors. I can show them what their colors are going to be. I do a lot of drawing. I don't want to make a mistake because I want clients to be happy with what they want. I don't want to make a mistake for a client, so, and I don't want to waste their money, so I talk to them a lot about their family, who's in the house, the children, what they want, what the dog does. Is there a grandma, grandpa? Who's in the home? It's about them, not me. I like to give back. Let's talk about the pink color, which we came to talk about. It's lovely. It can be used with almost every color of the rainbow. Wendy asked me how I got into this line of work. I was a candy striper in a hospital, oddly enough. The uniforms were pink and white, my first. That was a volunteer job, but I loved it. And then I worked at a boutique called La Boutique Papagallo. We had all colors. The shoes were pink and lime and lemon and blue. And then I worked in a state-run nursing home to get my college money. At U I went to Yukon at stores. I had great influence with my mom and dad at about eight or nine, ten, they both had very big work ethics. They wanted you to learn that from them, and I taught it to my two daughters. You're going to work very hard, but you're going to play as hard as you can also. The next time I see you, I'd like to talk about the color blue. I'm going to cut this short now. It's Pamela Frushauer, Miss Mitchell Interiors in Westford, and I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you.